It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and today we have a beer from Kronbacher again. One of my favourite German breweries and this is their Dark. Kronbacher Dark. Now this was kindly sent to me from Kronbacher. It's 4.7% ABV. So it's going to be a dark lager then. So all the qualities of a great lager but with some a little bit of roast, roasted malt in there. So I'm quite excited by this one. If you want to pick this up in the UK, it is available from beersofeurope.co.uk or if you can't find it at Beers of Europe, it'll be available probably at somewhere like Beer Merchants. They'll probably stock it as well. Um, but because Kronbacher has sent me this beer, I'm just trying to find new avenues and, and ways of getting the beer because this should be really good. It's in a 500 milliliter bottle. There's the bottle cap. Kronbacher, always in my always in my basket when I pop to Tesco's or Morrison's. Always pick up the the four for three deal, I think it is. Just wish they stock stock this one. It'd be nice to have a couple of normal lagers and then jump onto this. Look at the quality. Look at that pour. Doesn't that look fantastic? So we got a full finger tan coloured head. It's a jet black beer in the glass. Little bit of carbonation in the bottom of the glass there. But yeah, doesn't that look absolutely fan fantastic? There's no sediment, just see little rolls of carbonation rolling up the side and the head is nice and tight. It doesn't look like it wants to go anywhere very quickly. So why did Kronbacher send me this beer and some of their other beers? Well, I had a discussion with Kronbacher. Can some of you remember I made that video regarding 660 milliliter Morrison's Kronbacher and then the 500 milliliter that Tesco was stocking? And of course, there was a little bit of a panic about shrink shrinkification. Well, actually, Kronbacher told, told me the reasons why all that was going on. And I'll get to that in a moment, but at the end of the day, I got talking to the one of the main guys at Kronbacher and they decided to send me some beers. So we're reviewing this today. Let me get into this review and then we'll talk about the 660ml and the 500ml, the difference, why there's a difference in bottles between Morrison's and Tesco for their Pilsner. Right, aroma. Lovely and roasty, toasty, biscuity and bready. Definitely got the aspect of a lager though. You know it's it's built on lager with some Roasted malt. A little bit of caramel. A little bit of nuttiness maybe. Yeah, it smells really, really good. Let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Proust. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. This is fantastic. This is a really, really good quality lager. Stone the crows. Stone the crows. Oh, it's just fabulous. 
really fabulous. It's got all the qualities of a really good kind of drinkable lager, but at the same time, there's a little bit of a medium mouthfeel there. And that's coming from the, the actual kind of, the different malts that they've added in the beer. They've, got, they've used some Pilsner malt, they've used some roasted malt in the beer, and it just gives great mouthfeel, a creamy, rich mouthfeel, but built on the backbone of a great, great lager. Really kind of complex beer, this one. It's, if you're a lager drinker, of the light golden type then I challenge you to try a dark lager I challenge you to try a dark lager because it's a million miles away from a Guinness it's a long long way from being a Guinness but at the same time you can taste the lager qualities in the beer you can feel the lager qualities in the beer you get a little bit of that stinging nettle coming through but at the same time, as I say, this, this, this like that added level, it's like an extra layer of flavour and mouthfeel. A little bit of creaminess from the mouthfeel. And then you just get that lovely kind of roasty, toasty, biscuity malt flavour on the back end. A little bit of coffee, a little bit of chocolate, bitter chocolate, a little bit of kind of, a little bit of sweet caramel. It's beautiful, it really is. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful beer. Look at the carbonation. Look at that. Now as I roll the glass to the side, you can see that carbonation. Look at that, the head retention, the foam, the foam sliding down the glass back into the beer. Oh, great quality stuff. Great quality stuff. Really good. So let's check the... I just want to qualify concentrate on this beer for a little bit before I talk about the 660 mil thing with with because I, I, I made a video that got quite a few views on and of course it, it it's my kind of way of well it, it, it's my it's my I need to explain really why I, I kind of like made that video and, and the answers from Kronbacher uh, malt hops hop extract barley malt so they've used a few different barley malts in here so i'm going to rate it then i'm going to tell you my cronbacher story looks good smells good tastes fantastic if you can find cronbacher dark please do it's a great great beer it's very different to the the pilsner maybe pick up a couple of bottles of their pilsner maybe pick up a couple of bottles of their dark and just just drink some of the pilsner drink some of the dark and just see for yourself the slight it's more of the, it's more than a slight difference it's more creamy in the mouthfeel you've got some roasted malt coming through but you will be able to see the similarities between the two beers so yeah fantastic nine out of ten nine out of ten from real craft beer so the 660 mil versus the 500 milliliter Kronbacher video I made, I did have a response from Kronbacher themselves. Now this all boils down to the supermarket beer buyers. So Morrison's stock, Morrison's stock a 500 milliliter bottle, whereas just last year in 2023, they were stocking 660 milliliter bottles. And that was the confusion because Tesco, Tesco still stocked a 660 milliliter bottle. So it looked like from my angle and a few other people's angles because I was getting messages from people on my Cronbacker video that Morrison's were kind of getting involved in some kind of shrinkification and selling the beer, it was a slight difference in price, but they went from 660 milliliter to 500 milliliter. And of course I made a video on, you know, we've got this shrinkification, because it's all around us, shrinkification. Let's make no mistake about it. Let's make no bones about it. Um, 
And I said, if you want to buy the beer, buy it in Tesco at 660 milliliter bottles. So, of course, I hear from Cronbacker, and it turns out that it was Morrison's request. Morrison's requested that, can they buy the beer in 500 milliliter bottles and not the 660 milliliter bottles? Their decision. Tesco have carried on buying and ordering the 660 milliliter bottles of Cronbacker pills. It's just different supermarkets, kind of. of I, I, to be honest, <coughs> I prefer the 660 milliliter. Gives you a full pint and a little bit more. More beer. What's not for love? So that's the story with Cronbacker and the, the 660 ml pills versus the 500 ml pills in Morrison's. The change. Hope I got that across okay. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.